Wakanda Forever. So, Shuri, female Black Panther suit. Let's give this a go. So on the landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with our eyes, head and shoulders, hands, claws sort of crossed this way, okay? So lots of detail on this suit. We'll try and simplify it a little bit and we'll get the main parts. So let's go. Center point here, up over to the right. And we start with this sort of curved line for the top of the eye. Across like that, okay? And then this will come back down around. Into there. Then inside we have the white part of the eye. So it comes, depends on how big you want to do it, but we'll go across like so. And we'll go back around into there. Right, and then we have a line just comes from the corner. So then we'll go over and do the other eye. So you curve it over again. Bring it down. Around and into the corner there. And then we'll do the white part of the eye. Goes down that way. And then a corner line just here. So quite elaborate markings and stuff. So, so we'll just, we'll start detailing stuff out. So we'll go from our nose. There's this golden part here. Okay. And then from this, we have the panther-like features of the face coming out, right? So we go out like so, down, out, down. And then this goes in this way, in this way, and then across for this flat sort of nose, right? And then we have like a V in the center here. Right, so then coming out from the eye, right? So we've got another sort of golden plate or something here. And then another golden plate coming out from the top here. Like that. And then we have these round ones that go up to, travel up to our ears. So let's see what we'll do. We'll go so we'll do a line from the kind of the corner of her eye to her nose here, right? So just a line like this. So that then we go the same way there. And then there's a line from her cheek just down towards the middle of her face here. Just in the middle. And this kind of wraps around her face as well, but we'll just get, we'll get her like chin in, right? So down, say here, we'll put the chin here, right? So we'll go chin there, right? And like this whole space is about to, the distance to the top of her head, right? So the top of her head is about there. So you want like her eyebrows, say to be halfway down to her chin. So here to here, about the same as there to there. Right to where her eyebrows would be. Right? There and there are about the same. Okay, so we'll just we'll add her jaw. Come around like this. Right, so then we have these kind of round cheekbone areas just coming in this way. And then these go around for her head. They actually go into her ears. So this goes around into the ear. 
and our ear is real small, right? So sticking up just here, back down, up, back down, and then the inside part, just there. And then the top of her head just comes around here. Okay, so roughly this and this are about the same. So here to here, about the same as there to there. Just if you're wondering about proportions of things. So now we'll detail the rest of her face. So we've got all these lines and patterns that come down on her cheeks here. Golden plated stuff, right? So when it comes down like that. Okay, and then she has some coming up on her chin, like a spike. There. And then this cheekbone line kind of goes around this way. And then she has another spiky thing here. See some lines on her face here as well. Okay, so now more details up here. So coming around her ear, right? We've got like plates sort of thing here. Down like so. And this kind of comes around her eye. Into there. And then goes up. Okay, this seems to hook around and go back down to this eye area there. And then we go same thing kind of here. Hooks around. Goes into the eye, into there, and then we have a golden plate coming off that, and it goes around the back of her head, around the ear, so then we've got like this black section here. Now again, these things are metal plates, so if you want like edge lines and stuff can be helpful just to make them look a little bit raised up. So I'm just doing a light sort of touch up on the edge following each shape, you know, just the curvature of each one, just following it. Just makes them look a little bit more three-dimensional sometimes. It just gives them that little extra detail that can make these suits look a bit cooler. Just a little trick to make everything pop a little bit more. Okay, so now she's got like a jewel or something in the middle of her forehead and then there's all those dots. So we've got like, let's say, so let's go, we go around right here, goes up around the back of her head and then comes out this side. And then we have this big drop V here. And then this doubles up inside. So 
No easy way of doing this though. So we'll go. Round like that. Drops down again, goes back up. And goes around up here. And then this comes down again. Stops about there. Because it meets another section. So this comes down again. Goes back up. And then goes around up to there. And then this goes again. So quite complicated now this. But when we hit the middle, we sort of just go down a tiny little bit and then goes back up. Around up to there. There's another line that goes that way. And then there's like a V or something. There. This is like it's got a double line on it there. And then we'll go with some sort of like edge lines. So some like just some little details. Just coming around all this stuff. And then we got all those circles. So we've got like four and four. So we go one, two, three, four, and then one. Drop down, you know, these are in the middle. These are in between these ones. There's the fourth here. All right, so and then That and then ones that come across her eyebrow. Three, five of them here, I think. Three, four, five. Same thing over here. Like so, okay, let's go down now and do details down here so hands claws coming across here right but we'll do we'll do her neck so we get her neck in just coming down here from the jaw right and her shoulders come out if you want you can just go out for shoulders and down and you don't have to draw in the hands if you don't like drawing hands let's just go for this right so claws here right and a wrist comes up so a wrist comes up this way and this will go out for her thumb and it's kind of foreshortened it's going backwards we've got like the sharp claw and then a thumb on top there then we go up this way, around, and then a claw on top here. And then this finger comes back down. Bring it around, kind of bumping sort of lines. And we always make sure we add this fingernail. Small ones compared to T'Challa's costume. Bring it around again. Just for her little finger. And 
Let's just go down this way. Okay, so. So her hands then on this side, so her hand on this side. So again, we've got her thumb sort of coming around here. Big sort of golden spike. And then the thumb comes around. Down into her hand here. This goes up. Her finger. Nail, claw, fingers coming back down this way. And then we go around. Claw on top, finger comes down here. And again, up. On top, goes down. You can't see much detail on her hand, you know, knuckles and stuff. Can't really see much of that, but. side of her hand quite thin female kind of hands so goes into there and so then the rest of her shoulder sort of just goes off this way she's got like spikes and stuff on her shoulder but we'll just go out down in here, right? Thin enough shoulders. And then we'll go up this way as well. And our armpit is like here. You know, because her arms are all closed in. And then we have more details on our costume right so we've got like lots of these golden shapes right so on our hands so we'll just go like this there something else here something else on the corner Another one in the middle. Coming down her wrist. And then on the side here. Go around her thumb. And then on this hand as well. Something else coming off her arm there. 
Right, and then, so these will have kind of like edge lines on them. Raise them up a little bit. So just make them look like they're 3D a little bit. Right, and then there's all these lines on the knuckles as well, kind of. I won't do them all. Let's say like here, there's like these little ones that come down this way. Just hand lines and stuff. So I will give her some lines just coming across her knuckles here just to show that they're kind of curved. And then, okay, so she's got these, those spikes on the neckline here as well. Those behind her thumb. Some here too. And then some that like come down her neck here. So make these lines that way. And something else here. This is the <laughs> this is an elaborate costume though. Some more of these spikes. They put a lot of detail into this, huh? Something else here. And then circles. Across there. And then there's these things on her shoulders. So like they like stick off her shoulders, like one here. They're like golden sort of things. Another one here. Inside her armpit, we've got some stuff inside here as well. And then some more of these things that stick off her shoulder. And we'll give them some edge.
Okay. But that's as much as there is more detail on like on her costume and stuff, but I think I'll leave it there because that is loads to be doing for anyone. And of course, darken up your edge lines if you want. Right, but I think that'll do. Maybe just like a neckline sort of thing here. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.